Hey, medium decent people. I want to talk today about Facebook scams and about some that I've figured out. Well, here's the first one. The camper scam. Alright, like everybody else in the world, I'm looking for an RV. And I don't want to pay too much. In fact, I want to find the RV gold mine, you know? You know, I want to get the right price and something that works. Because when hurricane season comes, I can take my house with me. Anyway, if you look on the marketplace, there's plenty of RVs that look way too good. And they say, hey, $1,000 get you this RV. And this and that. And it's always had a clean title. Been in the shop, all this and that stuff, you know. So you click on the link, you know, because you want to see what's up. Hey, is this still available? Or I like to put stupid things like, can this thing play Sega? And they send you back a letter. Ah, blah, blah, blah. My sister, Garan True, is out of town. But if you email her at a Gmail address, uh, she'll send you pictures and stuff like that. Well, what they do, I mean, you email them, and then you get to talk to them, and they're like, man, we got all kinds of people looking at this RV. You know, it's going down. You, you better put some money down. Can you cash out me some money to hold your place for the RV so I won't sell it? And if you're stupid, you say, oh, yeah, I do that. And then they close the ad and they take the little bit of money because there never really was an RV. And this works with a lot of things on Facebook. They want that cash tag. They want to get yours. And if they ask you for yours, then they're just going to repurpose it. And say, hey, I lost my password. It's still your money, you know. So don't give anybody your cash tag and don't put any down payments on RVs. Be suspicious of people that say cash in hand and things like that. And nobody that will haggle with you, or nobody that won't haggle with you, isn't real. Because they'll haggle with you. Also, why do they call it, why, people are like, I've been watching a lot of Joe Rogan, and they're talking about the moon landing and all that. Why do they say the moon landing? You know, what did the moon land on? Shouldn't it be the people moon landing? And he's like, is it real, is it fake? You know this and that? Well, we put a lot more effort into movies that aren't definitely real. And I say we could do that, that we could put effort in our maybe fake moon landing. Or our maybe real moon landing, you know? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm predicted by the year 2060, people won't have children anymore. They'll get their children from Amazon, you know, in a package from a drone. What do you think about that? Oh, God. I've got glue on that popcorn. Anyway, that's the way it's going. And these are the words of the day. I bet Prime will be a lot more, you know? Especially if you're hauling a kid. I wonder if you can get a used one. I don't know. I've been thinking about that a lot. What do you think?